All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Low Country Fishing. And in today's video, I'm gonna be fishing just a little bit outside of Savannah, Georgia in search of some very big bull redfish. Now this time every year, these big females migrate in from offshore and they come into our sounds to spawn. And while they're in here spawning, it really provides a unique opportunity for us to be able to target these bucket list fish. So my plans are to try to get my buddy Chris on a very, very big bull redfish. So why don't you guys jump on the boat and come join me for the day. All right. Let's go ahead and get these girls rigged up. This is just some frozen mullet that I got about a month ago. Fresh mullet works better than frozen. It'll stay on the hook a little bit better, but you know what? It's, it's all I got. It's all I got. So this little rig here, guys, Carolina rig is all it takes to, uh, to catch these bull reds. You don't need a long leader. As a matter of fact, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, a lot of the states are now on board with using short leaders with bull reds, as you can see here. That, uh, that thing is really short. It's almost a knocker rig. It's just giving the bait just a little bit of movement here. But I've got it aluminum crimping sleeve just crimped above and below the egg sinker so it keeps it in place like this. That's an 80 circle hook, 80 pound monofilament leader, 80 pound Power Pro braid. The reel here is a Pen Battle 3 6000, and the rod is my meat stick. This is the Pen Mariner 2. Uh, she's a heavy duty. It's a 30 to 50 pound mono class or 50 to 80 braid. This is, uh, this is for getting fish in seriously quick. And it's only six feet in length. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up a simple four rod spread. Egg sinker that I'm throwing out will go long. Chris is gonna throw one short. We have a no roll sinker set up that's gonna quarter over here off to this side. And then another one's gonna quarter off there. So we'll have left, right, short, long. And we'll stay with four until we start getting into them and see how we're managing lines. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this girl along. He's right there. I don't know. I'm a little, uh, Running a little I'm a little torn. Usually reds don't come up to the boat like that. Nope, Red, yeah, big girl. Nice one. Come on in. Wham! <laughs> all right guys first bull red fish of the season right here and uh she is she's chunky now what i want you, want you guys to take a look at real quick is this hook set this is exactly what we want hold on baby hold on baby hold on baby right there Hook set right in the corner of the mouth. The 80 circle hook did its job. And there we go again, short leader, not even six inches. So she was eating that, and as soon as that weight gets next to her mouth, it tells her, stop, this isn't right. And that's what prevents these girls from getting gut hooked. So we'll slide her over here. Let's see, first one of the day, 30, we're touching there. We're at 35, that's a good redfish right there. We'll go ahead and Clip her in right here. Just a little tip for you guys. These redfish have a lot of cartilage in their mouth, but if you can get them right here in that little soft spot right there, it won't damage anything. So I'm gonna pass this off to Chris, let him hold her up. Beautiful redfish. Look how pretty, all lit up, golden. First one of the season, man, yo. Good fish, Chris. Yep. Just put your head back your hands. Alright. I'm surprised she hadn't broke me off yet. That's a shark. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. You wanna put this away? No, you can hold it, keep holding it. Yeah, see, she's scoped up and she's way out there now. That's definitely a shark. That's, definitely a shark. That's a big shark. I know. Well, I don't want to say this is a shark because this is how Chris has caught two of his three reds. Easy now. <laughs> yeah, that's a shark. All right, we can only deal handle one fish at a time. Keep going. 
Next one's gonna be a fight. Yeah, next one's a big one. He gone. No harm, no foul. Yeah. So guys, there's, there's no rush right now, right? So I have a fish on the line right here. It's a big giant circle hook. She's not coming off that circle hook. And you, this is a, something you can think about too if you start getting multiple reds. And the one fish, manage one fish at a time. She broke me that quick. She took me all the way out there and then broke me. But yeah, I doubled up on sharks. This is, this is it, man, this is a bycatch of bull red fishing. Water temps are 69 degrees today, so they're still here. Once water temp starts creeping into the 65s or the lower 60s, you won't have to mess with uh, sharks quite so much. You'll know every time that rod goes down, it's not a shark and it's not a stingray. Let her come on around. Redfish love getting under that boat. They're like, ooh, I'll go under there. That's a big red, buddy. You good, just dig her out. You got the right gear, just don't let that line touch the, uh, the boat. Come on, Goldie. Come on, Goldie. <laughs> you got a big old, big old bull, yeah. Big head on her. I'll give her a minute, I'll give her a minute. She's in. All right, this is without a doubt the biggest of the day right here. Pinched. Yeah, 40. <laughs> That's the 40 we needed. Yeah, there's another. Another good one. A little double spot on the tail. What do you think about that, bud? Oh, man. Whoa. She's up there with that trolling motor. Come on. Get out of there. I don't know if that's a red. It, feels, it, still, it still feels sharky. She's right under the boat. Get out of the boat. Yo, that's a red. <laughs> nice red. And we got another one on the back too. So the tide, the tide's changing on us right now. We got lines that are starting to cross a little bit. And these bull reds are coming in. You can see maybe too the mud line. All right, she's here. Yep. <laughs> she's here. Hey, she swam in. Oh, and she swam out. <laughs> you got her. Come on. Got her. So, little redfish tip, or just netting tip in general. When you go to pick up a heavy fish in the net, hold it vertical like this. If you hold it out and try to pick it up like this, this is where your handle breaks. You got more strength just lifting like this. So we'll get her up here to the front. We've probably got another one on in the back. but we'll just manage one fish at a time. All right, let's see, where are we at? Just touching 38. Oi. Woo! What a, a gorgeous fish. Now check this out, bogas up front, controlling the fish, hand here, giving the fish good posture, right? We don't want to hold her vertical, but man, look at that. What a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Yeah, boy. All right. Big bomb, a big 38. <laughs> I know, baby. I know you're ready. I know. Let me have your tail. Let me have your tail. There she goes. <laughs> Good day of old red fishing, you guys. I was out here with Chris uh, for a couple hours. We we're able to hook several, lost count, but nice time to get out here and bull redfish, you guys. They're here, but we have to uh, be responsible anglers, guys. We have to take care of these fish. So if you can, just be sure that when you get out here and you catch these fish, make sure we're getting a good proper revive on them as we send them back. Make sure you get your pictures, but I'll tell you, man, cool day of fishing. Thank you guys so much for support. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.